What's up, Pack members? It's Warrior Spirit the Elf here, and welcome to our next Dark Souls 3 Let's Play 2.0. In the last episode, we pretty much did on our lawn, though. It's not really a long area, pretty short, and we're pretty much going to go take on the boss in this episode. But before we do, we are going to gather a few more items. Oh, Moonlighter are nice. Uh, yep. Come up here. See if there's anything up here. Just double checking. Nope, doesn't seem to be. Alright, so, <laughs> just worth a check. So, we have 13 Estes to take on the boss. I think we can do it. Oh, Deacon Skirt, huh. Oops. Well, that's okay. So, this boss is Aldrich, Devourer of Gods, and he's not overly difficult, but can be pretty annoying, so let's get started, shall we? Let's just two-hand our bad boy weapon. Oh, and first thing first, when you see him raise his bow, just run. And that one does not go Cool. 
So, as you can see, Aldrich isn't overly difficult, but he is really annoying. As you see, he kind of spammed that, well, you know, arrow attack. So, yeah. And I don't think I had almost just enough Estes to take him down. So, yeah, pretty awesome. So, just a second, I'm typing real quick. there. We're going to go on up here. Wait for this lift to come down. Right in here. Yeah, there's no bonfire here this time. Come into the bedroom, or it used to be Guinevere's bedroom. bedroom. <laughs> and sadly, Guinevere is not here, but we do have the Sun Priestess ring. So, yeah. But anyway, I think that just about wraps up this, or no, sorry, not wrap this video. It's too early to wrap it up. So, we're going to go on back to Firelink. But that does pretty much wrap up an Orlando and Irrital of the Boreal Valley. So, yeah. Although, we're not quite done with, you know, this video because there's actually a few things we can still do in this video's remaining time and yeah we're doing going time so first things first we're going to level up the firekeeper and i am going to check to see what i you know should level up you know for whatever reason so you can get my intelligence to 28 that's well 28 or more probably 30 wow 32. Just checking all these spells. Oh wait, most of these don't even intelligence, do they? Yeah, okay. So, yeah, so 32, I think, was the highest. Yeah, okay. So 32 is gonna be our intelligence level we're aiming for. Let's take a look at main weapons. What about faith? Well, I think I've almost gotten enough faith for certain things. Hmm. Yeah, I think I'm pretty good on dexterity and all that right now, so yeah. So yeah, we're gonna mainly focus on intelligence level up for the rest of this playthrough. Well, intelligence and then faith. Got intelligence up to 14. Pretty good. And was there anything we could give the handmaiden? No. Nope. See, we're gonna talk to Andre real quick, give him the giant's cold that we got last episode. So, you know, that just gives us more. Now, however, there actually is something we are going to want to buy from him, maybe. Yeah. So, we just need to buy that, because we need this as a part of what we're going to do next. So, yep. So, what we're going to do now is we're going to warp to the Undead Settlement. And, yeah, we'll go to Cliff on her side. Bonfire. Because, yeah, this is the next part of Cirrus's quest line. So, yeah. But, yeah, most of these characters, we've done a good bit in the quest line. Like, Andre of Astora's quest line is pretty much complete now. Then. I think Korrance is pretty much his quest is done too since he gave him all the pyromancy tones. And yeah, Yuria's quest line isn't quite completed yet, but it is 
you know, just going to be like that until the end of the game. So, you know, Yuri's quest is pretty much completed at this point. So, yeah. And then, you know, Orbeck and Venheim, you know, we still have to, you know, find the Earth Scrolls for him. But, yeah. And at this point, you know, it doesn't really matter much anymore. So, I'm going to drop down here. Put that a bit of a draw. Heal up. Okay. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna come down here and I think I need to type something right quick, so we hold. Yeah, I try to type as fast as possible. Anyway, moving on. We're now going to come down here, and we're pretty much going to go to the where we fought Curse Rye Greatwood. Not in the Pit of Hollows, but... Okay. And Morphe Garb, utterly useless. Summon Sun, and this is, you know, Cirrus's call, so, yeah. Go ahead and accept it. Alright, and Chris, in this quest line, we're going to just wait for it. Just as I promised, Grandpa. And you got to, well, you know, you know, well, we have to fight off this guy, obviously, so... Yeah, let's do him, this bad boy. That's not going to do any good. And I'm going to heal up, too. This is perfect. Pushing off the guards here. Oh, miss. Oh, that has blood loss now. Wow. Well, thank you for heal. I think I got him. Just about. Ah, gotcha! Can't hear the game, Mexico. So. And at that point, we're pretty much done with like this portion of the quest. So, yeah. So, yeah. All you really need to do now is go back to Fire Link and talk to Cirrus. We're just going to go ahead and warp on back. And although I think, I don't know if this like counts or not, but. Okay, yeah, you don't take any damage if you fall down here. So I think now, if you haven't already, you can join the Mountain Maker's Covenant. I think so, at least. Or, oh, you can actually get his set, which is pretty cool. 
and I don't have any verbatim shackles in the inventory, so yeah. I don't know for sure if we can go in the Mount Makers or not, but whatever the case. Yeah, we are going to go and warp on back to Firelink, but we're actually going to warp to the Udex gun derp on fire for a certain reason, so yeah. Cirrus and let's see the dog first. Ah, here it is. You can get oh, Hawkwood Shield. Oh, that's kind of interesting. So is he already gone dead? Huh. Or it's not really what we were looking for, but <laughs> well, whatever works, I guess. Uh, well, not what I want to grab, but <laughs> still pretty nice. Well, his grave's got to be there somewhere. Maybe it's on one of these, I don't know. Nope. No, not on them. Over here, maybe? Nope. Well, so up there is where we, you know, we took down the master. See if we can find the grave I'm looking for. Ah, there it is. Oh, no, it's not. <laughs> False alarm. Here, no. All right. Well, not really what I wanted to do, but you know, I guess we can keep looking. I mean, we still have a little bit of time, right? Yeah, we have about like two minutes before, you know, we reach our limit, so, yeah. So let's go ahead and enter Firelink then. We'll deal with his grave later on. Hit Firelink Shrine, and see where she should be here. Yeah, there she is. Oh, I'm a friend of my sincere at La Adere. May I do? Yes, except for Natalie Vow. I am most grateful. I seriously, wherever, whenever, my Lord blessing of. So, yep. If I may, I am blessing. So, we're not quite done with her quest yet. She is going to play an important part in, well, a later event. And let's see if we can level up here. I don't know if we can. Yeah, yeah, we can. Okay. More intelligence level up. Okay. And let's see if we can actually head on up to see if I'm looking for a certain spot. Uh -huh. No, not there. Yeah, there is a certain spot I'm looking for. No, it's not there. Oh, here's the stairs. So we are going to check one more little grave, and is Patches over here or no? He's not. Okay, cool. So, up here, I don't know if there is going to be... Oh, see a giant tree. Nice. And, you know, we could open up that tower, but we're not going to do that just yet. We're going to save that for later. And... I've been looking through the graves, but I don't see the one we're looking for, so, yeah. Well, I think that just our art of this video, then. So, unless, you know, I find a grave, then, you know. Yeah. Anyway. 
I think it does that right in the video. So until next time, this is Spirit the Alpha signing out. I'll see you guys back in the pack.